Monday, the 6th of April, 2021, here on the Bear Peninsula. It's another beautiful day. You might be getting the impression that it's like this all the time. Well, it's not, but it has been very good recently. As I arrive up in my garden, my partner in crime, the Robin, greets me. And here cometh the spade man. My mission today is to dig up a lawn and convert it into a potato patch in 30 minutes. First, I, I ran the lawnmower over the, uh, the ground I'd chosen and mulched the grass to be a basis for fertilizing the patch. As I've shown in um, previous videos, the, the whole secret, if you like, the magic of the old traditional way was to turn one green sod, hinge it over on top of uh, the grass. And this then becomes the fermentation place where the potato can take off. I'm beginning to think that um, I've given myself a tall order for the day. I've measured out about six yards long by perhaps uh, one and a quarter yards wide. And as I said, I'm going to try and do the whole operation from digging to um, cultivating, if you like, to planting the potatoes, finished job in 30 minutes. As I said, I think I'm giving myself a tall order uh, here. Anyway, this is the um, is this is the length of the the thing, and I've given myself I think it's seven minutes, six and a half to seven minutes on each side or each shoulder of the ridge. Here I'm starting on the on the other side. I've actually gone probably a little bit too wide here, but. Um, I just I like a big ridge. I like a wide ridge. You can do more with it, but I might demonstrate another time doing a nice tidy, uh, narrow ridge with just the one good lump of the sod turned over and no space between that and the the opposite one. Now, although I'm demonstrating the um, the old way and uh, the traditional way of uh, digging a ridge. I am um, not averse to using the lawnmower, which is always lying around, and, and why not? Actually, by chopping up the grass like that, you're speeding up the fermentation process, you know, the grass and grass. Now, here I have another little trick, and of course, that this is because we live by the sea. Uh, I run the lawnmower over fairly dry uh, seaweed, and it chops up beautifully and mixes with a little bit of grass inside and I, I, I dump this on top of the ridge and it's just another um, piece of traditional fertilizer. So I made plenty of the, um, the seaweed and grass mulch and piled it on. You know, you can't have too much of this stuff. I've dug out some um, more soil from the uh, furrows and thrown it in and top of the on top of the seaweed and grass mulch. And now I've only got about eight minutes, I think, <laughs> to plant the uh, spuds. So I've actually laid them out. I'm doing them three three across, kind of staggered in uh, in in a row. This has proved very good in the past. A uh, very good pattern for planting them. And now the planting, or at least the last of the planting. Um, I like to cut quite deeply into the underlying sod. And there's kind of a comfortable place for the potato to be, where it will be cosseted by the layers of fertilizer and the decomposition that goes on as part of the, the whole magic process. I'm knackered. The things I do for you. I have completed my task within the allotted uh, time. 
and uh, but I'm going to grind myself a few more minutes over the half hour to just dress up the top of the ridge and that's to allow for the fact that I had to divert for five or six minutes to technical matters. There you are now your potatoes uh, fully uh, bedded in and all done within 30 minutes. I think the robin is thanking me for the worms 